For Singapore, our economic future has to be premised on us building up our capacity to create new businesses, uh, new products, new services, uh, and more broadly become an innovation-led economy. Uh, to achieve that, uh, R&D will be a critical pillar. Investing in research and innovation will enable Singapore to transcend all our fiscal limitations, our lack of natural resource, and indeed fully leverage on our very, very capable and talented uh, people to make ourselves relevant and useful in order for the world to want to pay attention to us. I think, you know, the, the question has to be not why R&D, but what will be the alternative if we are not doing R&D, if we're not undertaking knowledge-based enterprises, if we don't have the talent with the right skills and expertise, we're not going to be able to shape the world of, of commerce and economic activity. So that's why you, you need R&D. The reason why I decided to set up NSTB as 1989, of course, as chairman of NSTB, EDB, I'm concerned we cannot continue to have a high cost uh, city state just focusing on production. We must have intellectual property. And we must invest in research and development. We cannot just leave it to production. Helping to create jobs, helping to meet the aspiration of the younger generation, that's really one of the most important areas. And I think we then knew that we cannot continue to just do manufacturing. We have to move up the ladder. In the early years, a lot of our efforts were directed at the building capability, uh, whether in the form of bringing in talent, uh, grooming young uh, researchers or building the necessary infrastructure. Then there was a time when we shifted gears towards translational research. In that phase, the economic focus of A-Star work uh, became more pronounced. Uh, going forward, we will be doing a lot more uh, in terms of supporting national challenges uh, such as uh, climate change or pandemic uh, uh, readiness and, and uh, resilience. I think everything we do in ASTA, we try our best to impact the economy, uh, impact uh, society, to see what we can do to impact health, uh, to lift up the science and tech capabilities in public uh, agencies, and really to help our companies go from good to great. When I speak to uh, CEOs of companies and I ask them why are they basing their activities in Singapore, the answer often involves ASTAR and the critical role that it plays in terms of matching uh, the company's R&D needs uh, with researchers who can help them uh, address their R&D uh, challenges. We all believe that science and the pursuit of new products, new services actually leads to better lives for everyone globally. I think that's the role that ASTAR uh, has been playing and should continue to play. Every time I hear some of these uh, research programs that we are embarking on and the kind of potential it has, I actually always think, wow, you know, actually if this succeeds, actually we can truly change the world.